Hello, I'm Lansha Ruby. I'm from Macau, China. In 2017, the super typhoon Hado hit Macau. 10 people were killed and 244 were injured. The government issued its highest storm alert in 18 years. However, this supposedly rare alert was issued again in 2018 when Macau was hit by another strong typhoon. We heard Europe and Australia experiencing its driest and hottest summer ever, and then next summer, it was even drier and hotter. Global warming, climate change, and extreme weather are no longer just terms in textbooks. They are happening now, just that we are not the biggest victim yet. This is a picture of the foreign minister of Toronto, dressed in suit and tie, giving a speech in the middle of the water. It's not a prank, and though it's funny. Their country is soon to be submerged by the sea. I have to do something. These three poems are written to echo the speech by the foreign minister of Tuvalu. They tell the stories of global warming and climate change. Written in different perspectives, the three poems depict the catastrophic effect of human activities. Now I'm going to read two of the poems and provide my explanation. The first poem is Tears of St. Gamata. St. Gamata, Mount Everest, God of the Sky, in a snowy white coat, gracefully stands on the border of two countries. Long ago, this snow queen was loved, respected, and guarded with faith. It was once where snow levels and young strength. Then flocks of climbers stormed in, took with them flowers and stone, left behind bottles and cans. The queen is wounded, homes of snow lever and yards occupied by farmland and hostels. The queen shook in despair and in tears. Snow slide, several climbers died, wild animals trapped. They found their way out, following the cries, cries of the holy Singamata. This poem is written in third person narrator. It tells the story of Mount Everest. The mountain is anthropomorphized as a goddess. Reference of this can be found in Nepalese myths in which mountains are worshipped as gods. The contrasting lines in the poem show how life of wild animals is affected. The queen shook in despair and in tears to protect the wildlife. The mountain brings about a giant avalanche. This echoes with the local stories in which accidents in mountains are interpreted as the result of a raging god. In a poem, climbers, the antagonist died. In reality, the mountain could not correct any wrongdoing, including even protect itself. As a matter of fact, the glaciers on the mountain have been shrinking because of global warming, and the ecosystem on the Himalayas are becoming more and more fragile. The second poem is Coral of Tuvalu. Tuvalu, the black pearl of the Pacific, stands proudly. to dance. We shall go to 
Papua New Zealand, where green energy is used, we heard, we shall set sail in search of the coral of Tuvalu. Coral of Tuvalu shows the chain reaction of global warming in the other side of the world. People on the islands of Tuvalu are about to become climate refugees. Following the first step of a little girl, we see how the islanders' lives gradually fall apart. The economy of Tuvalu used to rely heavily on fishing, then on tourism. Adults gather in harbors and airports to welcome the guests. The younger ones make souvenirs or perform the traditional dance to make a living. Tuvalu was the black pearl of the Pacific, but the rising sea level is eating up the land, and in the end, the residents have to flee the country and try to make a living in a new land. The third poem is clam. It is a monologue of a dying clam. It is probably one of the smallest victims of ocean acidification and global warming. This is an optimistic clam. She's joking about her friend, the sea urchins, and herself in her last verse. The collection shows the readers the domino effect of climate change. The poems take us up the Himalayas to the middle of the Pacific, then dive deep in the blue ocean. By reviewing various aspects of the ongoing climate crisis in a micro and macro level, I hope the readers can be reminded of the fact that there are consequences in every one of our actions.